me and hello again everyone welcome back to satisfactory 1.0 i am dennis i am the paleo gamer and today we're going to try to well we're going to first get knock out that last little bit of annoying tier one tier two stuff we have to get done the um, u jump pads and beyond that we're going to go and see kind of optimize our existing factory because we're going to need a lot more stuff pretty soon before we get to the space elevator. So let's get started. Okay, first thing we need to worry about is, well, our own, well, the jump pad's not back yet. Um, jump, not jump pad. First thing we need to worry about is, well, I'm gonna do a little bit more power. So what I meant to do. Because we're going to be needing a lot more power soon. So we're going to add another... guy to our chain here. Okay, so this should give us a higher return. I also need to make sure that all these guys are running at the proper speed. Because I need a bunch of, make sure all of these are Mark II belts. Okay, it looks like it. Do I have anything to put in here? No. Okay. Now that the freighter is back, here. Grab some reinforced plates. Now what we need for the next level is cables, plates, and rotors. Now rotors are going to be the part that we have the hardest time getting because right now we're not making any. Rotors are made from rods and screws. So I'm going to go down here where our screw factory is. And um, that really needs to be a conveyor mark too. Tell you what, I'm going to redo my hot bar here. Because we're going to be using those things more and more. Now I need to build a um, another assembler. I don't think I did that right. I don't think I put it. I think I put it too close. Now an assembler for um, rotors is going to be taking a hundred screws a minute, so I'm going to need a high speed here. And I don't have enough reinforced iron plates. That should be okay because I should be making 120 a minute screws between that. See, I've got three screw people running here who are producing 40 per minute. So why do I not have any rods? Using 30 per minute, and you're taking in 15 per minute and putting out 15 per minute. There's a proper splitter there. So be, be 
merging you, so you should be 30. Split three ways, it should be 10. So why are you not getting... Okay, something's not quite right with my optimization here, but we can live with it. Okay. That was a bad turn, but it works. Um, the rods are way up here. for that, so. Let's run that over everything. Bring it down here. That's too long. Okay. And I need to make sure you've got power, so... Oh yeah, I got rid of my power on my hotbar. So, let's put the power pole as a 1. And the power line, we can put a 4. That way, power poles 2 and 3 will have their own spot when we get to them. Put you here for now. And connect to that. Okay. So now we should be making rotors, or we will be making rotors as long as soon as some rods manage to get down the assembly line here. In the meantime, we're going to have to start optimizing this factory because honestly this factory is a mess right now. And we're going to be needing a lot more stuff than we have. So I'm going to go in here. What do I need to make a chainsaw? I need rods and reinforced iron plates. The rods are here. There's a lot of rods. Okay. The reason I want to do this is because I want to move the um, Gives us some screws. Uh, the reason I want to do this, oh, I'm going to need a, uh, going to need some solid biomass. There's none in here because this is still building up. But we'll take that, split it, and put a hundred back, so we'll keep running. All right. I need to find a spot to put my. Um, move my um, hub to, because I'm going to need a lot of space. There's another iron node up here, which we're going to be taking advantage of very, very soon. And one there, which I can't take advantage of quite as quickly, because um, it's got a rock on it. And I, oops, I know from experience that, that rock can only be removed with no blisk explosives, so we'll have to wait till I get explosives. But I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to use this area to put my... Um, base in. And I'm going to do it this way because this... Clears out entire swaths of foliage at once. Even if I'm not using trees. I just want a clear area to work with. Okay. 
put that aside. Now we'll just aim in a general north direction and run east-west. Well, unless my factory is that way. Okay, let's just aim here. <sighs> what I'm going to do put that there. And then put one on top of it. I oh, can't quite reach it, but okay. I know I'm going to need a 3x5, so... 2, 3, 4, 5... Can I hop onto this end? Yes, nope, maybe not. Yeah, okay. I'll have to put a ramp. And I'm running out of concrete. Of course I am. Fortunately, there should be plenty of concrete down here. I'm going to probably need some more iron plates very, very soon. So, grab that. Over here and grab some iron plates. Here. Yeah, okay. And then we're just going to disassemble all this stuff because we're about to move it. See how much more space that gives me? And yes, it's a bit out of the way, but once I put these, start this mine up, that'll be. First thing we need to do is rebuild the hub. So let's make sure we've got that properly centered. It looks centered this way. Up, oh, it needs to go. It's way overhanging. There we go. Okay. We now have a hub again. And on the opposite end over here, we're going to put our MAM. Make sure I've got it kind of back to the back. That's too far. That'll work. And we need to create the um, equipment workshop or rebuild the equipment workshop. Is that far enough up? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, everything's now been rebuilt up here. So we have a functional hub again. So let's see what we need to do here. Uh, we've already got all the cable we need. We almost have enough plates. And we do not have enough um, rotors. In fact, we don't even have any rotors at this point. But fortunately, there's a factory down here making them.
those for Mark II belts. And there's 31. Unfortunately, I need 50. So we have to wait a little bit longer until that's done. I'm pretty concerned what's going on with my screw outputs here. I really should be getting more than that. Because this should only be taking a hundred per minute, and I should be making a hundred and twenty. Not sure what's going on here. It's okay, all this needs to be rebuilt eventually anyway. So we're gonna put some more of this stuff aside. Just to keep our production grid up. Let's see, we're producing you know, capacity of 240 and only 154 at most, so we've got an overhead of about 90 right now. Go check on our copper node up here. Make sure we've got enough cables coming in. Yeah, we'll just grab all of that. At some point, I'm going to have to start making copper sheets as well, but that's enough for right now. Just so this thing doesn't look like it's floating in the air. Let's start worrying about the underground here, or the um, foundations. And I wish Zoop wouldn't just keep deciding it needed to do things more than it does, but. Why did I run back up here when I needed, when I still need the other rotors? Damn it. Okay. Let's go back. Bad habit. Grab every, just keep grabbing foliage as you run past it to keep the biomass generators running because that's the one thing that's not automated yet. I'll have to wait till I get to coal power before I can do that. Okay, while that's going on, let's see if I can start looking at what I need to do over here. Okay. I had started looking at this guy and then never really did anything with him, so let's go back up here and just get rid of that for the time being. Okay. This guy's going to produce 120 per minute, which means he can feed four smelters. However... He is very soon going to be, or not rel very, relatively soon, he will be operating at um, 240 per minute when I get a Mark II miner, and he will be producing, feeding eight smelters. So, how many smelters should I provision for? Well, I really wish I could put one more over here. I can put four, the four I need over here, and then we can worry about the others later. So, My 
put them further out to get past that little divot right there. And um, for the moment, I'm going to be bad, and I'm just going to use a manifold to feed these. I really should be doing load balancers, but, you know, it's a... Um, in a lot of ways, this is going to be a throwaway factory, so... So I need a, get 120 out of this guy. He'll be taking 90. View that, he'll have 60 coming out of here and only 30 coming out of here. There we go. And now we have to power this mass. So, go back over here. Notice that I am already encroaching on my internal factory here. So let's um, drop a power pole here. Let's see if I can get power from way over there. Yeah, we just put one there, one there. these up. Oh yeah, you need to make iron ingots. I need to tell you that, don't I? It confuses me. Why does the smelter just smelt whatever's coming into it? I mean, why do I need to tell it whether it's doing iron or coal? Well, not coal, or copper. And... I really should have put them on this side of the smelters, but it doesn't matter. Alright. Now we're going to be producing a lot of iron ore. Now the thing is... I now have to figure out how to get turn all of this into something useful. If I want to make, I need to make screws. Screws is what I'm the shortest of. And we can already see screw factories over here. But one smelter can feed two iron rod. One smelter can feed two iron rod components and um, oh, I need to put these up the okay, what smelter can feed two iron rod constructors so these four smelters can feed eight iron rod constructors and then eight iron rod constructors can feed a total of 12 screw constructors. So, I've only got so much width here. That's not going to work. So I'm going to have to go up. So it's about time to see how far into the sky I can go. And I'm going to start by going here and picking up the rest of these rotors just so I can get rid of that last little bit of I can get rid of that last milestone. Although I guess I need to get some more. Hiya, buddy. More of these two. Okay. Minor disadvantage of this is that this thing is so far away now. And that not quite fit is annoying me. It's a waste, but it worked. 
Gross. All right. that did that. That was weird. Okay. You go there. And that's our last milestone. Milestone for now. reached. The Fixit jump pad combines high technology and innovation for optimized factory traversal and an ideal travel experience. Clarification. Ideal travel experience not guaranteed. Individual results may vary. Pioneers are responsible for all workplace accidents resulting from jump pad usage. I'm putting a wall up so I won't walk off the edge of my platform. Which, trust me, I have done it before. I'll put a row below it just to clean up the look a little bit. Okay. So we've actually made this look a little bit better. That's fine. Now then. We're going to need to do the space elevator relatively soon. The space elevator takes a lot of copper wire, which we have most of, a lot of rods, we have more than enough, metal plates, which we're getting there, and not enough concrete. We need a lot more concrete than we have. So maybe we'll look at concrete next. See, here's our concrete mine right now. He's happily producing, well, he's only producing 60 per minute. Um, so he's not very good. He's just a normal node. Let's see if there's a better node over here somewhere. Because there is concrete over here, if I recall correctly. it was over here. There it is. Now this has the disadvantage of kind of being behind and it was also normal. There was a better one somewhere. Ah, here it is. Yeah, here's a pure limestone node. And rather than run all the way back to the other end to build a pair of miners. I need a portable liner. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a second one. Okay. was the second one. And somehow I missed this whole mess. Okay. Just like doing my lawn. Okay. So let's start here. We need some foundations, so let's we can build a yeah, we need to build 
three. But let's build a miner here. Miner. same thing over here. And we're going to face these things in towards each other because we're going to merge them. bit of a problem here because this guy is producing 60 and this guy is producing 120 so we're getting 180 per minute I can't transport more than 120 per minute right now just because that's how my um, all I have belt wise but I do this Right, I should be able to optimize them. By figuring out how my splitters work. And I got distracted picking up leaves again. All right. question is, which direction do I want to run the factory in? Um, I'm going to run out of space that way, I'm going to run out of space that way, plus I have a pale berry here that I maybe don't want to just totally destroy. And I'm out of concrete. How ironic, considering that I'm building a concrete factory. reason for what I'm trying to do over there right now is thank you see this he takes 45 per minute which means this guy's only producing 60 so he can only run one and a third of these now over here I have 120 and 60 which is a total of 180. 180 means I can do four full. I ran up the cliff. Means I can run four of those. But I can't just merge all of them together and then split them because that would only be giving, because I don't have a 180 per minute thing. So what I have to do is play games with splitters to get what I want. So we're going to start by putting a splitter here. Center it. There it goes. Okay. And you can only produce 60, so you only need that. Now I can put 30 out this way and 30 out this way. So what I can do is put a second splitter here. And 
And now that one is going to be producing 15 this way and 15 this way. So I can then put another, put a merger here. And now that's 30 and that's 15. So there's a total of 45 coming out this way now. So now I can put a... Constructor here. And be confident that it is working at peak efficiency. So you need to be making concrete. And it's time to get some power over this whole mess. And we'll just pick that one arbitrarily. Whoops. What did I do? Okay, let's try that again. I'll pick that one because he's would be his last one. What about what about my other 15 that's coming out here? Well, I might should have split this up a little bit differently, but or angled that differently. Let's do that. Angle it this way just so we can get more space for logistics. Good way to do him, is there? Okay. Okay, so that's a hundred and twenty coming out this way. So that makes 60 coming out this way. Okay. So I can put another splitter here. Or is this right? That's 60, so this one gets to be 30, coming out this way. Okay, let me put another splitter here. That's a little closer than I would have liked. Damn it. Let's see if there's a good way to do this. So what I want to do is merge this... 15 with a 30 coming from somewhere else, which will give me another 45 heading that way. So, looks like I'm going to have to do some. So that's 15. 60 is coming out of here this way.
Okay, now we're there. Okay. 60 comes out. This will be spitting 30 out in each direction. So that's 30. That's 15. We can put another constructor here. This is getting a little going to get a little messy in a minute, but let's do what we can here. I'm missing plates again. Do something with all that stuff I've been collecting. That one's showing red. That I didn't connect as power. Yep, didn't connect as power. So we're going to put a storage container here. Right there. I have my pulling foundation, so I'm going to go bears. So now we should have fire unit working, because I forgot to tell you what you're making. Okay, now we've got two full things feeding this, and we're going to build a third one. That frees up this little bit of space here that I needed. So I can build a third constructor here. Yeah, 
okay, it's actually upset about this, for the record. It's upset about the power pole being in the way. Okay. I have 30 coming out of here. Why is this? Oh. Because I didn't connect that. I have 30 coming out of here, and I need to convince that to get merged with another 15 somewhere and to get all the way back to here. But I may have to completely rearrange how some of this is done. But right now I've got two going. And I'm just going to create this guy as a partial until I can get the last piece hooked up. I'm getting some spaghetti over here, and I'm going to have to figure out exactly how to route this stuff around. Because I still have 90 coming. Okay, that's 60, 30, so I have 60. I have 90 coming out of here, which doesn't sound right. I love the little swirl they're doing right there. What am I doing wrong? Okay. 60, 30, 30. So 30 comes out of here. 15, 15. 15 and 30 is 45. Okay, so 15. 60, 30. 20, 60, 30, and 15. So that should be 45. And that's right. I have, um... Because I have 30 going that way. I have 60 coming out of here. So there's a total of 90. I think I should have done is run it up this way and split here and then brought them all back. Well, I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. I've got something semi-functional at the moment. reason for all that was because I'm going to need a lot of concrete and plates because I'm going to start working on a raised foundation. And we have to figure out where that raised foundation is going to be. And I'm just going to leave this guy over here as he is because he can't be optimized at the moment. And that's going to be a mess back there when I get Mark II belts, but... Okay, I think it's time to do a bit more planning before we go any further. Because I need to figure out exactly how this stuff's going to work. What I need to do is... And I'm way far away from everything now, but way over there I've got four iron smelters that aren't leading anywhere yet. And I've got another miner next to it that can produce another four. I need to feed those into making rods and then screws, but the total of eight that I have now will turn into 24 constructors making screws. So I'm going to have to have space for that. And to do that, I'm going to build a raised platform and just cover this whole area over with a platform. That's my plan. And that's what I'm going to start doing next time because I'm okay. It's not as long as some of them have been, but it's a good spot for now. And there's nothing we can do at the moment. So I am Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer. 
and I will see all of you next time.